Hello guys and welcome to the very first review video of 2015. And yeah, you know, I've started this year off doing a few different Windows beta build tutorials. Um, and we're going to be getting into a few more of those videos later. But today I've decided to do uh, an actual product review. I don't think I've done one of these in a while, uh, unless you consider... Um, all of my time travel videos, product reviews, but this is going to be a full-fledged review and unboxing of, a, of uh, a product that I've actually went out and bought new myself, um, not something that I've like bought used or anything, and I've actually been using this on a daily basis um, for the past, you know, probably month now. I've gotten to know this product very well, um, and yeah, as you can probably tell from the title, we're going to be taking a look at the Corsair Vengeance K65 mechanical keyboard and I basically bought this keyboard to replace the current keyboard that I've been using on my computer. I've never owned a, a mechanical keyboard before. I've always used membrane based keyboards and this is actually the one right here that I've been using uh, before that I switched to this one uh, standard HP keyboard right here it's, it's, it's actually the one that came with my computer when I bought it and it did everything that I wanted to do but I just figured you know why not upgrade to something that you know people consider mechanical keyboards to be way better than all of these membrane based keyboards and after using this product for a while, I've actually tried to go back to using this, and I can't really do it very well. I, you know, I've gotten so used to how the mechanical keys feel on this keyboard, and um, but yeah, this is this is basically uh, a product uh, from Corsair, and it is, I believe, their uh, lowest end uh, mechanical keyboard that you can buy right now. I believe it costs uh, around uh, eighty nine ninety nine. And by the way, I should probably say that you know Corsair hasn't paid me to do this review or anything. I'm just doing this all on my own. Um, this is not not like a product endorsement or you know anything like that. But yeah, this is just going to be uh, a full 100% honest review. You know what I think about this product. Um, so yeah, you know first let's just take a look at the box. I'll uh, just you know kind of take this old keyboard and just you know set it aside for now. Uh, I might come back to it later because you know the biggest thing about this keyboard and you can probably tell from the size of the box is that there is no number pad on it I mean this is basically and you know that, that's one of the things that they had to do to you know get the price down uh, to that price point and still make it uh, a full-fledged mechanical gaming keyboard um, but yeah uh, on the front of the box here you can see we have a picture of the keyboard right here it says K65 compact mechanical gaming keyboard over here it says uh, the Corsair Vengeance logo and here we have a few different features about it you see it has uh, the Cherry MX red mechanical key switches it has a compact design with standard key spacing it has full st full key matrix anti-ghosting with full key rollover on USB and I believe that uh, below is the same thing in a different language and then up, up, up top there we have the Corsair logo and just you know going around the side I think it says pretty much the same stuff I think this is just talking about all of uh, the different technical specifications you can you know pause the video and like uh, read that if you want um, here it says uh, you know with the same logo in it, and it also says uh, which keyboard layout it is which can be very useful if you were buying these like used or something like that and you know if you were wanting to make sure that you're you were getting like your right you know type of keyboard layout um, this is obviously uh, the uh, s uh, standard English QWERTY keyboard layout but I'm sure you can get this in like any different uh, layout that you want to and here on the back is uh, a full diagram of all of the different features that this keyboard comes with and you can see kind of uh, how it looks of course we're, uh, we're gonna open this box and you know see the whole product here in a minute but it's just uh, gonna highlight these four different features and these are I think the same things that I mentioned before it's got uh, the same uh, standard key spacing that, that it has on like uh, a full-size keyboard which is very good for something that you, uh, you want to be this compact it ha also has a, a detachable braided uh, cloth USB travel cable which is also very nice if you were planning on uh, taking this with you you know uh, with your laptop or something like that it also has a uh, dedicated volume and uh, mute controls and a rugged anodized aluminum chassis which 
Also, all looks very nice. But, you know, that's just all the stuff on the box. So let's actually open this thing now and get into this. So I'm just going to, you know, pull this tab here. And I'm just going to pull this here. And you'll see it is a very nice, you know, sort of simple packaging. Um, and so, yeah, let's just pull this out here. This is the keyboard right here. We'll just, you know, kind of set that aside. And the only thing else that we get in here is the uh, USB cable. I'm just going to pull that out. It comes in that little box thing. And all of these, you know, different papers, which we'll also take a look at in a minute. That's literally all there is in this box. So I'm just going to set that aside. Let's take a look uh, at the manuals first. I don't think there's, that's going to take too much time. You know, basically here, I think this is actually going to say the exact same stuff that I mentioned on the box. So I'm probably not going to spend that much time talking about it. This is just going to, you know, say what you should get in the package. And I guess, like, how to uh, connect the USB cable, which... This is probably one of the most simple keyboards to set up. I mean, actually, like, any keyboard is probably, you know, very simple to set up. You know, I mean, especially this one, being how small and compact it is. Um, all, all you have to do is take uh, the keyboard, plug in the USB cable to the keyboard, and then plug into your computer, and you're good. Obviously, there's no drivers or anything like that. Um... And we have uh, your standard warranty guide, which I think comes with most Corsair products, and your warranty against defects, which is also you know very useful. So that's basically these these three slips of paper that you get in here. Just set that aside. We'll take a look at the USB cable. It uh, feels very high quality. You know, I, of course, I like, can't really show you how it feels, but. Um, it's definitely, you know, not just like, like some cheap cable, like, you know, let me get my other keyboard here. It definitely doesn't feel anything like the cable for this keyboard. You know, it feels way more high quality. Uh, I believe it said uh, that it was braided and this is definitely braided. You know, I can feel the difference between those two. And we just have to undo this tie wrap here. So we'll just do that. And this thing just comes off and... This is a full-size USB with the Corsair logo kind of engraved on there. And that goes into your, you know, USB port on the computer. I believe this does use U, uh, USB 3. However, I'm not 100% sure on that. And here is, I believe this is mini or micro USB. I, th I think this is micro. And this goes into the keyboard, obviously. So, that's that. Um, we'll just wrap this up because we're going to need it a bit. I'm just going to set it aside there. And we'll get into the grand finale sort of, which is the main keyboard. And I'm just gonna pull this out of the sleeve here and set it down. And yeah, that's the that's the plastic piece. And yeah, I actually still haven't uh, taken off this little plastic piece up here, up at the top that uh, covers the Corsair logo. I guess I haven't even noticed that. But So there's a few main features that I wanna point out about this keyboard um, that kind of makes it different from probably most of the other, you know, high-end mechanical gaming keyboards. Um, but I think that most of Corsair's keyboards are kind of designed uh, in a similar way. So, um, obviously the first thing is this uh, anodized aluminum chassis, which um, I believe I, I, that I mentioned when we first uh, took a look at the box, as it, you know, makes that claim the whole chassis is made out of aluminum. And that basically makes it feel like it's a really... Uh, high quality and you know like a very sturdy product like this thing feels way heavier than probably any other keyboard that I've used especially any membrane based keyboard um, it also features the Cherry MX red mechanical key switches which is mostly you know there's a bunch of different types I, I believe there's like four or five different types of common Cherry MX uh, key switches and the reds are most commonly associated with gaming. Again, I've never used any, you know, uh, like Cherry MX switch at all, so I didn't really know how this was going to feel, but I've gotten really used to the way that this feels, not just for gaming, but also for typing, you know, like, and not, like, I don't mean heavy typing, like, I mean doing things like, you know, typing in web addresses and, you know, writing small notes and things like that. It also gives off... Um, a very nice sound, which I've also kind of gotten used to as well. Just to give you a feel for how that this, you know, keyboard sounds, here is a sound comparison 
um, compared to my older HP membrane-based keyboard and the Corsair K65. Obviously, since it's a gaming keyboard, they have uh, labeled the W, A, S, and D keys and the arrow keys sort of in a different color to kind of, you know, I guess if you're in the dark or something, you, you can, you know, find these keys um, a little bit easier. Uh, the keyboard doesn't have any backlighting. Of course, this is uh, their, you know, most low-end model, so it's not going to have any backlighting. So probably the biggest, you know, missing feature, at least for me, when I came to using this keyboard was the fact that there was no number pad. There isn't any number pad on this Corsair K65 keyboard. And the reason for that is obviously is because it is designed to be a compact, you know, sort of travel keyboard. But, you know, you can obviously use it, you know, on your desktop computer, which is what I've been doing with it. But it's kind of uh, intended for you know somebody that would want to bring this with them uh, when they were traveling or you know somebody that uses a laptop or something like that that doesn't have a number pad anyways and they don't really care about that feature but every keyboard I've used has had a number pad um, of course they were all membrane based but um, yeah well, you know when I first I saw this keyboard, you know, everything was great about it except for that one feature and that kind of at first made me not not really want to buy it, but after buying it and just using it for, you know, about a a month of like good daily use, I've been able to, you know, kind of adapt to not using the number pad anymore. So for me, it was an okay sacrifice for me to, you know, get rid of uh, that number pad but still keep you know all of the great features uh, especially those cherry mx red switches that i was talking about um but you know if you don't think that you're going to be able to you know sacrifice uh, the number pad especially if you're like working in a, uh, an environment that uses that you know on a daily basis um i would probably not really recommend this keyboard to you um but yeah that's that's basically the main uh, sort of uh, a, like adjustment that you have to make when you come to using uh, this keyboard. Now, Corsair does have a model that costs uh, a little bit more. I think it's uh, like $129. Um, it is the Corsair K60, and it you know comes with a, you know a few more features. Obviously, you know it costs more, and one of those features is that it comes with a you know uh, a full size number pad, and it I, I think it comes with the uh, you know same gunmetal aluminum chassis design uh, that this one does so if you kind of want the same design and you don't want to sacrifice uh, th the number pad but you're willing to spend a bit more uh, that keyboard might be the one for you the other few small little features that I do want to mention about this keyboard is um, it does have a, a few standard media controls uh, you do have um, up here uh, this little mute button which will obviously mute all the sound coming from your computer and uh, a volume up and down button so you can you know kind of change the volume and next to that you actually have a windows lock key which will lock the windows key from working which is actually a very nice feature so that when you're in a game uh, like a full screen game if you press the windows key it'll like minimize the game and bring up the start menu which can get very annoying if you're playing a game, like especially something that like you have to be you know focused on all the time. So you know for like a hardcore gamer, that's a very you know nice feature to have. Um, and obviously, there's no number lock because there's no number pad, so it's not needed. There's only two lights for the caps lock and the scroll lock uh, on the side there up at the top. So yeah, now I'm just going to kind of show you how this thing actually connects to your computer. So obviously to do that, we're going to have to bring in this, uh, this little USB cable here. And this is probably just as simple as you would expect. All you do is just, you know, flip the keyboard over. Let's do that here. 
And on the bottom here, there's this you know little indent down here. And all you have to do is just take your micro USB or your mini USB or you know whatever this end is, and plug it in. I think it actually goes in this way, so I had it right the first time. And you just plug it into here, just like this. And there you go. And now you just now uh, like this this little crease here is actually for taking the cord, and you just kind of you know fit the cord in here, and it kind of makes the keyboard sit flat, which is obviously kind of needed for you know a keyboard like you want to sit flat on your desk and just like most keyboards on the bottom here we also have uh, these little feet that you can you know bring up and make the keyboard stand up a little bit you know taller if you so desired to do so so we're gonna just you know, set that down there is also actually uh, this little FN key down here and if you actually press this um, there are a few other like they're not dedicated media control buttons, but um, There is uh, a play pause fast forward rewind and stop button uh, If you press uh, the FN key while pressing the F9 through 12 keys, that's that's basically All of the main you know core components of this keyboard um and obviously, you know, I can't really recommend for you to buy this if you absolutely if you absolutely need to have like the number pad or like backlighting, or you don't like uh, the Cherry MX Red uh, key switches. But if you're just you know in the market for like uh, a you know fairly uh, inexpensive, compact, easy to you know carry around uh, keyboard that uses Cherry MX Red switches. Or if you're just, you know, like me and you're just getting into uh, using different uh, mechanical keyboards and, you know, you just want to, uh, like, kind of, you know, try around and, you know, see uh, which keyboard is the best, I would definitely uh, recommend this to uh, someone like that. This is a good uh, starter's keyboard um, for someone that's just, you know, in the market for looking to get started um, with using mechanical keyboards. Um, and yeah guys, I think that's gonna about wrap it up for this video, um, that's, that's basically all that I wanted to say, as I said, I haven't really done these, like, full-on product reviews in a while, um, especially something that I've actually went out and bought brand new and just have, you know, stuck here right, uh, like, r right in front of the camera and have been able to, you know, give all my full thoughts on, but, you know, if you guys like this video and would like to see, you know, me do this more, definitely be sure to, you know, like and subscribe as it really helps me. Um, to, you know, uh, determine if you guys like that or not, and, you know, just leave me a comment down below, you know, what you guys think of this keyboard, uh, and, you know, would you buy it, would you not buy it, you know, uh, just, like, all your general thoughts on it, as I always enjoy reading all the comments. So, yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching this video, thank you so much for all the great support that you've given so far in this year, it's actually been pretty amazing, I've gotten, uh, a lot of great support on, uh, you know, my few recent videos, um, and yeah, I just, you know, wanted to thank you guys for that. Of course, thank you so much for watching, and as always, I will see you guys in the next video.